while the IMF is trying to become more flexible, more responsive to the needs of the membership, it doesn't mean that uh, it has, changing, it has uh, been changing the overall objectives of its policies. Its policies still aim at uh, uh, financial globalization, at enhancing a world of free capital flows, uh, free trade flows, and, and rightly so. Uh, the way to achieve those objectives um, may be changing, and therefore the IMF is not ruling out the possibility of uh, uh, member countries to apply temporary capital controls um, to avoid that uh, um, outflows or surge in capital flows may uh, interact with domestic vulnerabilities and in turn um, increase the chances that uh, you know the economy um, might go on a um, economic, uh, financial, and political. Uh, uh, turmoil has, for instance, was the case in Asia in the late 90s. Uh, this is not the only instance where the IMF is rethinking its stance. Uh, the IMF has already uh, greatly simplified its conditionality. Um, the IMF is also rethinking its own stance vis-a-vis -vis, uh, inflationary policies. And this is part of an overall strategy of the fund under this current leadership to uh, make the institution uh, more effective, more responsive to uh, the needs of uh, its own clients, after all.